Hey there, filmmakers. Welcome to High Concept, a show where we just don't show you filmmaking and editing techniques. We show you real producing strategies to help you get your film made. I'm your host, Thomas Verity, founder and executive producer at the Film Fund. I'm also an award-winning filmmaker, film producer, and film festival judge. On this week's episode, we show you 17 different ways to get your indie short film seen. Welcome to High Concept. finished your short film and you're ready to send it out to the world, first off, congratulations. That is a major accomplishment whether you're an experienced filmmaker or you're just starting out. Independent film distribution is largely moving online and premiere status is becoming a thing of the past. A lot of the major festivals, including Sundance, actually have waived their premiere status requirement as online film communities become such an important tool for filmmakers getting their work out there. Now, there's no secret to getting your short film accepted on one of these curation websites. It simply starts with creating great film and getting it out there online. Some of these online curation websites include Short of the Week, Vimeo Staff Picks, Nowness, Film Shortage, Instagram's IGTV, Facebook Watch, No Budge, Boom, Omletto, and Dust. The Film Fund isn't just a place to get funding for your short film. We're also a community of like-minded independent filmmakers who want to showcase our work online. So because of this, we've created a page called Auteurs where you can show your independent short film. It doesn't matter if you're experienced or a beginner or what your film is even about. If you post it to this page, we'll share it with our community. We get thousands of views on our website each month and we're steadily growing, so be sure to check us out. There exists a huge filmmaking community on Twitter as well. Just search hashtag film Twitter and you'll find thousands if not millions of filmmakers sharing their work, talking about screenwriting tips, everything. In fact, Twitter represented a crucial tool for us when we were first starting out as we used it to reach out to film bloggers to generate word of mouth for our first film funding contest. So join the film conversation on Twitter. You could use it to post behind the scenes content on set, live tweet your film festival experience leading up to your digital release, or just talk to other filmmakers. This one's difficult, and it's not for those who aren't willing to put the time in to learn digital marketing. You're essentially investing in yourself for the future. You'll be posting content regularly on a website that has a blog, as well as publishing to your social media accounts, building an audience via email, and then updating that audience every so often, ideally weekly, with the content you're putting out. It's simple to explain, but incredibly time consuming to execute. If you want to learn more about how to market yourself online as a filmmaker, check out our blog post in the description. With all of these online distribution opportunities, don't overlook the power of local networking when it comes to indie film. In Philadelphia, where the film fund is based, there's Bryn Mawr Film Institute's Open Screen Mondays, Rough Cuts, and Philly Film Showcase for filmmakers to network and meet one another. And that's just in Philly. Imagine all the other events out in Austin and LA and New York City and all these other big film communities. If you can't find a film networking event in your city, go to sites like meetup.com to try to search for some. If you still can't find any, start your own. All you need is a venue, a projector, and some friends. I don't think we need to tell you about YouTube considering it has billions of views plus you're on it right now watching this video. It may carry a stigma in the film industry with vloggers and YouTubers, but there's a ton of awesome filmmakers on the platform as well. In fact, a lot of those short film curation sites we mentioned post their videos on YouTube itself, so go check out the channels. We've put those links in the description for you. Every decent marketing blog out there touts the benefits of TikTok. And the Film Fund actually has plans to start creating content on TikTok as well, so you should join us. Here are a couple of filmmaking marketing ideas for TikTok. You could take your entire short film, cut it up into smaller chunks, and release it as a mini-series on TikTok itself. Or you could take footage behind the scenes on TikTok and release that up until the festival premiere, or once you're at your festival, assuming you got into some, you could document your festival experience and release it in chunks up until your online release. <laughs> Last, but certainly not least, are film festivals. In-person festivals are still a big deal and we definitely recommend submitting to them. Many of the big festivals, including Sundance, have actually removed their premiere status eligibility, meaning if your short film's already online, they don't care if you submit it. They actually want your film to be everywhere at once. So go ahead and post your film online and then submit it to Sundance and some other big festivals. We've included a link from Short of the Week that actually details which festivals care about online premiere status and which don't. There are also festivals that just specialize in short films, such as Holly Shorts Film Festival, DC Shorts Film Festival, and Palm Springs Short Film Festival. These are some of the biggest festivals in the United States and they're all for short films. So go ahead and check them out. And these are just a few of the festivals in the US. They're even more internationally. Just be sure to research your festivals when you're submitting to make sure that they're a good fit for your film. 
We hope you found this video useful. If you want to check out the full blog post, check out the link in the description. And if you need funding to help make your short film a reality so you can submit it to film festivals, either online or in person, check out thefilmfund.co or visit the link in the description to learn more. I'm your host, Thomas Verity, founder and executive producer at The Film Fund, and thanks for checking out High Concept. Thank you.